Welcome to News Desk on SiliconANGLE TV for Wednesday, October 24th, 2012. I'm Kristen Folletti. Facebook reported its third quarter earnings yesterday. How did they measure up? Join us with her breaking analysis on Facebook's financial picture is SiliconANGLE News Desk editor Kristen Nicole. Welcome back, Kristen. Good morning. Yesterday, Facebook reported its financial results for the third quarter, which ended on September 30th. So what can you tell us about the report? Well, they did better than expected. And uh, even with the, at the end of the trading day, uh, they had increased um, a little bit, I think, by about 40 cents or so. Um, so they beat analyst expectations. And this is certainly a good thing for Facebook, considering they've been kind of in the slump since uh, going public. Facebook founder and CEO Mark Zuckerberg released a statement reflecting on Facebook's third quarter results saying, As proud as I am that a billion people use Facebook each month, I'm also really happy that over 600 million people now share and connect on Facebook every month using mobile devices. Zuckerberg also addressed Facebook's future plans in mobile, saying, People who use our mobile products are more engaged, and we believe we can increase engagement even further as we continue to introduce new products and improve our platform. So what does Facebook need to do to continue their mobile growth? Well, they certainly need to find more ways to monetize it. So uh, mobile's really the story here, and it's something that people have been harping on since Facebook has gone public, and, and we've seen those stocks decline. Uh, so with uh, Zuckerberg's goal for mobile, he really pounded on this, mobile and monetization. And uh, this is going to be very important for him and Facebook, uh, the, their entire platform moving forward. Some things that we're probably going to see in the way of more engagement. Um, one of the things Zuckerberg mentioned on, on the call yesterday was that the opportunity with mobile is that it has a, a better a better engagement methodology with the end user. So we're going to see more integration, um, probably some of the other trends that we've seen with other uh, companies that are, are going into the mobile sector like uh, Microsoft and, and Google, even Apple to a certain extent. Uh, so really finding ways to leverage that offline and online experience, incorporate geolocation uh, awareness, uh, things of that nature. Tell us about some of the improvements that Facebook has made to bolster business recently. Um, they've uh, offered more tracking capabilities for businesses that are looking to advertise on Facebook's platform, and that should be a nice segue into the mobile sector. Um, another thing they've done is updated their mobile applications. iOS in particular, Zuckerberg mentioned yesterday that they've seen a, a significant uptick in engagement for the news feed for their iOS application. So that's a very good sign. In regards to advertising, how are they attempting to increase revenue there? Well, I think that really starts with the platform. So however they can continue to ensure that the whole of the internet is kind of feeding back into their platform um, is certainly a good thing. And however that translates into mobile, uh, that's going to be key. Um, and so from there, being able to offer those demographics and uh, analytics up to advertisers will be extremely important when it comes down to targeted marketing, especially if they're going after the engagement route. And, um, you know, the engagement thing is something that Facebook's really, really been trying to hone in on for years now, starting with Beacon that had a really ugly backlash. Um, so now they're doing it again uh, with the Facebook Exchange um, and, and some of their other features that they're looking to roll out. If they can pull off this engagement, this really fine line between uh, what the, the business advertisers' objectives are and what the consumers are willing to provide and interact with, then they'll really be in a better position. The press release contains several forward-looking statements regarding Facebook's business strategy and plans as well as expectations of future growth and engagement. Can you summarize what Facebook has in store for its future? So it looks like um, gaming was one sector that they still want to focus on, even though uh, Zuckerberg mentioned that they saw a slight decline in their Facebook monetization. Zynga in particular, I believe, dropped by 20%, though gaming overall is up. Um, so that's one area that they could uh, kind of continue to explore. And then in regards to some of these other ways to interact um, and incorporate uh, more marketing and monetization methods, whether it's through virtual goods or um, any type of analytics-driven, data-driven initiatives, I think will be very important. 
Earlier this year, we talked about Facebook's new good service gifts. Uh, what other money-making strategies does Facebook have in store? Well, a gift is, is one. Um, virtual currency, it seems like it had a lot of promise um, in the past year or so, maybe a little longer than that. Um, and we're seeing how it's playing out with a, a, a platform like Facebook's. Um, and as I mentioned before, gaming is another one. Um, and there's also been talk of how Facebook can directly monetize the consumer. One thing that we saw in recent weeks is an, a, an option for any user to go in and kind of pay for a premium placement of their newsfeed updates. So if th these are just some of the things that Facebook is trying and throwing out there and uh, however they can truly incorporate that into the mobile experience, I know that they don't want to just mimic the display ads that you see on the side of a page for, for their mobile uh, engagement is really going to be key. With this upswing in quarter three, what do you expect we'll see in Facebook's quarter four? Hopefully more uptick. Um, they are really starting to follow through with some of the mobile initiatives that have been discussed in previous quarters and even before their, their IPO. So if they can continue uh, to make strides in mobile and find a way to really enhance the user experience in that regard, then we'll see a successful transition for Facebook. Do you see this latest report having any impact on Facebook's IPO status? It certainly helps. It's always good. Um, yesterday in particular, when so many other companies uh, had to report losses and we saw the, the market just kind of fall by several, several, several points. It was almost depressing. So uh, it's, it's definitely a positive for Facebook. Well, Kristen, thanks so much for your time today. We appreciate you joining us. Absolutely. Thank you. For in-depth coverage on News of the Day and the latest breaking analysis, join us daily at News Desk on SiliconANGLE TV.